hey, it's me, Scott, it's still me. And <laughs> we're looking at the uh, Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.5 features. Here's another one of my favorites. Tell me this isn't cool. So you, you have a document, this one's flattened, you can see there's no layers, and you wanna know what font that is. You're like, I don't know what font that is, but I would love to use that font uh, for a different project. Here's what you do. Get the rectangular marquee tool, make a nice tight selection around that type. All right, so something like that. Then we're gonna go under the type menu. We're gonna choose match font. Give it a second. It's gonna go, oh yeah, that's impact regular. That's exactly which font that is. That is all lowercase, but it is impact regular. Now, here's what it does. It gives you impact regular. It goes, here's another font that's close to that, right? So uh, this one would be close to it, and it is. You can see from this, the uh, sample, it's very close. And then it goes, hey, on Typekit, right, you can download these fonts. These would all be kind of close to it. So it gives you some, like, whatever font that you have that's installed, that is close. <laughs> if you have the right font, it just says, well, that's the one. Gives you other suggestions and then gives you access to the other ones on Typekit. That is just, it's just sweet. Hey, let's try it again, right? Let's go to a fancier font. How about this one? All right, we're going to do the same thing. Make a selection around it. We're gonna go into the type menu. We're gonna choose match font, and it's gonna go, that is Bickham, it thinks it is Bickham Script Pro Regular, and in reality, it is. It is Bickham Script Pro Regular. That's exactly what it is, right? Because I know, because I, I did this, I made this, and I love that font, and I use that font often, but it goes, here's a couple of other scripts you could try, or you can go, here's the fonts that are available on Adobe Typekit, and you can download them right there. Okay, so, very, very cool. It's font recognition. It's built in there. Hey, there's a bunch of other little type tweaks and stuff they did because every time Adobe does a new version of Photoshop, they always tweak things and they enhance things. They made the, the font menu, like the fonts load into your font menu four times faster. They brought back the grouping of families to make the list shorter. It's all good. Lots of cool stuff. But I thought that one was particularly clever.